Welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. You may remember we got a new puppy. This is Axel, which means he gets to meet Paul. Dog trainer Paul and Annette are with us today. It's funny, right before they got here, one of our kids said, I can't believe Axel's gonna meet Paul. And I said, he's not having meatballs yet, he's too little. And they're like, no, I said he's gonna meet Paul. I'm like, oh, Archie knew. Archie perked up right away. So Paul, introduce yourself and Annette, please. My name is Paul Anthony. Um, and that Anthony? Yes. <laughs> See, she introduces herself. That's right. One month so, to the big day. One month to the big yeah. day. That's right. So what all do you do, Paul? Uh, we do um, boarding trains. We take the dog for a couple weeks. We do basic obedience. We do private training. We do behavior training um, at Unleashed. We do grooming and we do boarding <laughs> and also daycare. And Annette? I uh, own a grooming salon and I work with like um, dog uh, fitness and rehab. things like rehab yeah. Re yeah, and I do some uh, dog massage as well. Which is so valuable. Mm -hmm. um, the more I've learned about that, her skills, uh, the more I realize that's really helpful for a dog to become successful. Yeah. From an injury or from poor treatment. Yeah. So Massage is really good for like anxiety, high anxiety yeah. dogs, um, you know, just to kind of calm them right. down and mental stimulation. Even digestion. Or not. And, yeah. Yes. The more yeah. I found out about mm -hmm. it. Yeah. It's yeah. been great. We thought it would be a good idea. I think a lot of people get a puppy for the first time mm -hmm. or maybe they all have different personalities and they don't. So we want to bring Paul in today. It's kind of a service to all the viewers to help. He has so much knowledge when it comes to this stuff. What can someone expect like with a puppy like Axel? I mean, so the, the first thing, expose the dog to everything like you guys are doing. The dog's down there right now with your daughter and running around, exposing <laughs> it to everything. The worst thing we do all the time is pick it up and carry it everywhere. We have to let the dog, the puppy, expose itself to different things. Um, don't be too impatient with your puppy. It's just a baby. It's been on the ground, what, 60 days? You know, something right. like that. Mm -hmm. So we have to develop that puppy um, in, into its own individual. And like I said earlier, it needs the individual time away from your other dogs too. Um, so it does become that individual, like, you know, just like a human. Right. So. And what about some safety things? To, uh, they can get into things. What are some big things to look out for? baby proof your house everybody always talks to me my dog's chewing up your shoes put up your shoes mm -hmm. so management is just as important as training and management means hey i'm going to put up my shoes we talked about the counter surfing mm -hmm. with baby gates things like that so we have to understand oh the puppy could get into that we and she is ultra vigilant where our dogs, we think, can get into everything. Right. Yeah. You know, and we know, so, and, and we're ultra vigilant where we put things up and, and, and stuff like that. So. Yeah, we were talking off camera just about a plastic bag. You know, right. I, yeah. Uh, so dangerous. And you wouldn't think it, but. Right. Yeah, but if a dog, there's so many cases out there, dogs, you know, they put their head just innocently into this chip bag that's laying there and they've had suffocation incidences and things like that. So just watch around your house. Just be careful. And they probably up. learn that most of their treats or things from a store are coming into the house in the with bag. the bag. Yeah. So there's something in that that's got to smell good. Yeah, yeah, it sounds right. And, and usually a lot of our treats um, come from a bag. Crinkle noise. So when you yep. hear the noise, mm -hmm. right. the puppy automatically goes, oh, yeah. something comes from mom or dad. So let's go over there. Let, let me explore this. Yeah. yeah. So What kind of collar do you recommend for a puppy? For right now, a, a, a regular flat collar just and it, you can adjust it preferably something you know with with a snap yeah um and then a harness to to you know just a regular harness to help the dog walk around and get used to you know things like that i stay like away that from the chokers yes yeah. stay, stay away from the the choke chains because puppies can accidentally get into things and accidentally choke themselves okay so i i don't like to use the chokers at all or even any of our viewers that have been here for so long remember we had an incident with our old dog stanley and piper wrestling she had one on his tooth got caught on it and it pulled so tight yeah. i thought i'm gonna have to choke her even more to get his tooth off of this yeah. it was awful it was just an awful scenario yes so things to think about um how about some toys for them what are your recommendations uh good 
good toys are um, toys that they can't, like as a puppy, you can do stuffy toys, of course. I okay. mean, it's fun, they're puppies. They deserve the little stuffy toys, you know, but once they get to that um, point where they're able to rip things up and stuff like that, um, more of the like the Kong, the hard chews, you know, um, elk antlers are good for bones, uh, yeah, water buffalo. about that, you said definitely no deer antlers, because that's kind of a big thing for puppies, no deer antlers for puppies. Yes, and... Um, Why is that? Finn has, um, you know, he does a biting sport, and he's had some injuries to his teeth once in a while. The doctor I know, Dr. Mendoza, who is just, uh, um, she's a dog dentist, basically. Mm -hmm. She even told me no deer antlers because the deer antlers are harder than the teeth and okay. they, there's a lot of damage from deer antlers. So that's why it's moose antlers, elk antlers, right. um, if you're going to use They're something like that. Softer. They're softer. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Good to know. Yes. yes, absolutely. All right, we've got Hannah and <laughs> Hannah and Tyler have a puppy as well named Tank. He's what, four weeks older than... Uh, He's 11 weeks. 11 so. weeks old. Now, Paul, you have a few, <laughs> a few things there, mm -hmm. like nice accessories or tools. Yeah. If yes. you have a new puppy, we asked Paul, "What do we do about the chewing? Like, those puppies are going to chew on your hands or your sleeves, and you don't want that to be a habit." So, so Paul has this an answer. is something that the, I tug with my dogs, even my adult dogs. Okay. And what you can do is, they have flirt poles that you can buy online. Okay. At at Amazon, or. You can go to a tractor supply um, and a rural king and use one of these, tie a toy to the end of this, and then ah, use it like that. Yeah. I think um, the specific flirt pole is a squishy face. Am I right? Something the squishy, like that. squishy oh, is it? something. Okay. The name yeah, the name of it. Okay. And the reason for that that I like these a lot, yeah. When I'm playing with this, my hands are attached. So a lot right. of times the hands get bit because they yeah. think that the hands attach, so yeah. that's what happens a lot of times. Yeah. So that's why we we attach it to something. You can okay. attach it to PVC, that's safe. Uh, horse crop, or you can buy one online. That's safe. I like yep. that. We'll put that in there. And that. also for training, probably the most important thing is a treat pouch. Yeah. So when the puppy's out, I have a treat pouch with me. So when I call it and it comes to me, I reward it. So then it becomes Every time dad calls me, I'm going to get, get some yeah. sort of reward or mom calls me. Yeah. Then it's gonna, you're going to be like a slot machine. It's going to yep. be every other time, <laughs> every tenth time, every time. So the dog doesn't know, so there's a variable reward schedule right. with the dog. But they're driven that way. You know, with Arch, like he, we can get him to do anything for a treat, seriously. Yes, absolutely. So I'm okay with that, and it's, it's worked out with all of his behaviors. Paul has been a miracle worker with Archie, and I think all of you... Like I said, those of you who've been watching for a while, you remember Paul and his history and all of his background of training, but uh, he's been great to us and it was no surprise when I sent that text going, hey, we need you. <laughs> yeah, because Archie wasn't 100% sure. Right. Right. Yeah. So I text Paul, I, I said to Paul, your ears had to have been burning because day one was not great. <laughs> day two, and I'm, I'm like ready to cry and I said to Mike I need to call Paul he goes well just wait what would Paul say I'm like he's gonna ask me if Archie had his collar on and Archie did not so I put Archie's <laughs> training collar on and that made a difference because he was getting hyper focused mm -hmm. and Paul's pretty familiar with that and most dogs but you know Archie he's a golden retriever I didn't think this was gonna happen but it did and he needed that reminder of oh wait mm -hmm. you know wait she's in, what am I doing because he would just to realize quickly though that like Hey, this guy's pretty cool. You yeah, know I mean? so today like, has been one week. Now one he's... week, it's been seven days they've met each other and they've lived together successfully. And I'd say they're on a good road to be friends, don't you? Yeah, definitely. Like he's, his tail's and up, he's wagging, he's happy. And he, I see him being gentle with him. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. he has a pool toy or whatever and he wants on the other end of it. He will seriously like lower it. You can see his actions are just, a, it's a whole new Archie, a whole Aww. new Archie. Yeah. You guys have no idea what's coming down the pike because yeah. We love Archie, but it's so fun to see him being loving and want to have a friend, a oh, little absolutely. buddy. Absolutely, absolutely. So this is Clyde, and good, good. All <laughs> I want you to, guys to do with your dog is to get him in front of you. You're gonna say good, you're gonna mark it, and then you're gonna feed it, good. Good, so what I'm doing, I just want to get the dog just to do a behavior for me and stay here with me, here, good. 
Oh, I know you like the puppy. Huh? Now how old's Clyde? Clyde just is turning six months. He'll be six months on the 11th, him and Bonnie. Yeah. Bonnie and Clyde, don't you love that? <laughs> Bonnie couldn't so, make it today, but. Right. <laughs> and all I want, again, good. I do little hand touches with him okay. when he touches my hand. And then ah. we feed him. Just, just, it's something to mentally stimulate um, him. Go ahead. Good. Okay. So, and then. Kind of like the juggling them. we do with Archie? Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> good. I'll have them down so they learn how to relax here. And okay. I'll feed them when they're down. Good. Ah. And then I'll feed him. So the puppy's learning something. And then I teach the recall like this. Get it. Oh, okay. Clive, yeah? Good. Ah. So I'll throw something out there. Clive, here. Good. So you throw something out, get it. Clive, here. Good. And that's the first things that I start with um, our dogs is to just get them engaged. Um, that's a leaf, bud. <laughs> Good. Just get them engaged and do things like this. Make them want to work. Okay. Good job. All right. All done, bud. Way to go. Good job, Clyde. Good job. Good job. Buddy. Hi. You oh, you're baby? so beautiful. Oh, good job. <laughs> so, and then from there, you can have, you'll stand up with the dog next from the sitting position. Good. And then all you want the dog to do is just, okay, you want to climb up? Come on. Oh, come on down. Good. Okay. Okay, down. Good. Okay, come on. And that's the first time he's ever heard chickens. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Come on. He so. knows they're there, yeah. <laughs> Here. Go ahead. Good job. So I do little things like this just to keep them. So now he wants to do it because he knows he gets a reward there. Let's go. So he does it again, and it just keeps them mentally stimulated. Oh, I touch my feet on there, or I put my butt down, yeah. I get yeah. rewarded. Yeah. So it has to be positive first. Good job. Yeah. And that hand, you said it should be coming from you. Everything comes yeah. from me. Yeah. When you greet a stranger, a lot of times they'll say, hey, I want you to give my dog a, a reward. Then that stranger becomes more important than you, so it's going to run to that stranger in the okay. next time. Okay. So if I want my dog to meet a stranger and it's appropriate, <laughs> Yeah. That I reward the dog. Okay. So I am ah, the main focus sure. of the dog. Good. Okay. Good job, buddy. Yep. Good. Okay. <laughs> Good. What a worker. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he loves to work. That, that that is one thing he does love to work. Now tell us again what kind of dog Clyde, Clyde is. Clyde is a Belgian Malinois. And can you That's give me some more, please, honey? Sure. Um he's a Belgian Malinois. And this is actually my, my competition dog, Finn's um, yeah. grandson. Um, now we have another video. For anyone that's new, you might want to go back and check that out. It's there in the, Paul's in the thumbnail of the video. But uh, you can go ahead and give us your history of, of your training with Finn. So and Finn is, um, he's actually the most decorated dog and has more trials than any other dog in the United States Mondial Ring Association. Nice. We, we've competed over 30 sometimes in um, Mondial Ring, and we have we came in third in the world in 2018. We were over in Russia. Um, we came in eighth place at the FMBBs um, when we were in Czechoslovakia. So yeah, 24 um, MR3 titles. Yeah, wow. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. but yeah, he's, Finn's an amazing dog. What's Finn doing now? Finn's retired. Retired life. He's, he's liking he's, it? Yeah, he's... Mama's spoiling him. She's, yeah, yeah. She's spoiling all the dogs. That's awesome. Okay, down. So, and again, you see, I don't tell Clyde what to do. He just comes up there and does this himself. Okay. So, good job, buddy. Um, one other thing that's important is, in my opinion, crate training um, mm -hmm. for the puppy um, and dogs as far as um, potty issues. Yeah. And if they ever go to the vet, um, you know, and if there's ever an emergency, they end up in a kennel. The groomer, mm -hmm. you know, and, and things like that. Have the dog be able to be touched and things like that. Mm -hmm. So the groomer, the vet, and the vet techs are able to touch it. The worst thing is, is that, you know, if you can't touch your dog, how yeah, do I expect right, you to right. touch my dog? Right. So, hey, 
you know, here's Finn or here's Clyde or here's somebody like that. So yeah. they can come in, check his teeth, run mm -hmm. their fingers down, give yeah. them a shot, touch their paws, do things like that, but it's all done positive. You let me do that, buddy, I'm going to give you a reward. So then pretty soon that transfers over to you and you and, 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 right. and whoever else. Yeah. So, but that's, that's very important too, to expose your dogs to things like that. Make sure it's somebody appropriate that understands, not just grabs your dog and right. says, well, here's some food. Work on it. So if I'm going to touch his, his oh, teeth, yeah. I touch yeah. his teeth and then I do that. I also, can you go get me a little bit more, hun? Um, I also do a thing where I have them um, put their hand, put their muscle in my hand. Oh, okay. So, and that's just, that's done just like this. So, hey. You dropped one. Okay. So, and all I do is this. Okay. So, uh -uh. There's all kind of distractions Good, yeah. right now. Yeah. He's yeah, he's never been in this environment, but he's working through it very yeah. well. Levi, Kate, and our grandkids just came in, and he's still focused on Paul. Yes. So, and, and there's this, chickens in the background. like yeah. he's. And this is all that I do. I play a little game with him like this. Okay. Yes. So, and he puts it ah. in there. I don't grab it myself. You'll see right here, he puts it in there. Yeah. Good. And then, yes. yeah. So, I'm teaching the dog. I like you, that, you yeah. You do this, so then you get a reward It's okay for it. to, yeah. Right. So, again... When the vet checks him out, um, a vet tech grabs him or, or, or something like that. So he comes in. Good. And then I'm able to check his ears, his paws, things like that. Grab him from his collar. Good. But he's not been distracted by Axel. No, mm -hmm. no. He's, he's, really, he, he's really been pretty good so far um, and in a new environment. But yep. And I want to but, talk about that in a minute. Before we do, I do want to say about the crate. We picked up Axel in the state of Indiana, and we took his crate mm -hmm. and put him in the crate. Every two hours we stopped, Absolutely. got him out, walked him around, let him, if he wanted water or whatever, you know, went and had to use the bathroom, that sort of thing. Got back in, and that lullaby, you know, riding in a car, it was just, he was yeah. back out. It was the best thing. He, even now, I can easily be like, I'm making dinner, he's got to go in his crate, you know, because right. I can't watch that he's having an accident. It's been great. Right. I think he's had maybe one or two, you know, accidents on my watch or whoever's watching him but he's happy in his crate right so i do agree i like that a lot and, and again it's like putting a baby in the crib they also They're need safe. their time yes um you know to sleep they need their time to be alone and they're safe there yeah you know it's, it's just like your grandchildren yeah you know we're always vigilant High watching chair, car them. seat they've got to be somewhere yeah right we you have mentioned to earlier about it's a good good to have uh like let them play with the other dogs, but also keep them away from the other dogs some too, and just with you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. The dog needs to learn to be an individual. And when, you know, when I take him, even when he's with me, I don't have him 24 seven. Right. I don't have him like that. And what I mean by that, I'm not cuddling him, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing, come on buddy, let's go take a walk. Just right. me and you. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm letting him be an individual, letting him explore, and he can explore you know, enough here, right, right. he can have a great time. Um, but they need to learn how to be an individual. Yeah. So first, yep. And with that, then you, you bring the other dogs out. Uh, and, yeah. And then, and then do this. But if, if we come out there and be like, well, I can't go out because Archie's not there, it's going to start becoming right. a problem. And then and there's separation anxiety with the dog good and herself and things like that. Good example of that, too, is we have litter mates. We have Bonnie and Clyde. So, sure. um... They were very dependent on each other when we first brought them home. So they were like constantly together and, you know, so we had, we separated them so that they could both have their individuality, like with the yep. other dogs yep. and by themselves right. and with us, you know, to form a bond with us separately so that they're not always depending on each other. So. Because a lot of times, and the reason I go back to hand feeding too, is mm -hmm. I want to be more than just somebody who feeds my dog. I want the dog to understand. Yeah. This pay comes from me. Right. And a lot of times what they do is they'll put a bowl down and then they let Archie and the dog out. Well, Archie becomes more important than you because all you're doing is feeding him one time and then I'm going outside and play with Archie. So this is the time where you need to take okay. some time with him, walk down the trail and do things like that, let him explore and, and, and things like that as an individual. Right. Then bring Archie and the rest of the dogs down to right. whoever. 
All right, I want to talk Paul to talk about introducing it to a new dog, whether it be a, the grand dog, like Hannah brings her dog, or dogs that might be living with. You know, I know friends and people that have started separating their dogs, and then six months down the wrong, road, they still have a problem because they're still separating them. So, a absolutely. what's a good idea? First of all, the, the older dog must be appropriate with the puppy. And yeah. the puppy must be appropriate with the other dog. So, if I'm going, hey, hey, hey. Yep. The older dog will correct the young dog. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, it has nothing to do with aggression, but the, the puppy has to be appropriate too. When we start it, we start the puppy in a crate, the older dogs are out. Sometimes we set up a baby gate. Yeah, X older pens dogs. are good for yeah. like oh, okay. the, put the uh, puppies in X pens so the older dogs can just sniff around yeah, the X pens. Yeah, I like and, that, okay. Yeah, and the puppies involved with that mm -hmm. also. Um, and then we slowly, and you guys have a big yard, we slowly start putting them out somewhere big because we don't. There's a flight and fight syndrome that the puppy will have. If we keep them in an eight by ten room, and the dogs are going to meet. They're going to be like, "Whoa, yeah, where yeah. can I go from here?" <laughs> yeah. So out here would be the place that you know where I would introduce them. You know, outside yeah. somewhere. You know, in in the building, yeah. somewhere like that, where it's a, you know a bigger instead of just in the house. Kind of yeah. feeling trapped. Yeah, everyone needs their yeah. space a little bit. Right. Absolutely, and, and that'll give the puppy. Hey, if I'm uncomfortable or, you know, one of your older dogs, I can leave. I'm not stuck here. So, yeah. you know, if they're stuck there, they're going to get more stressed out. And then, right. you know, then something bad can happen. Yeah. I think what we should do, if anyone has any questions about yeah. dog training or puppies, let us know in the comments. And Paul, you can come. You know, check our comments and yes. maybe answer something. Yeah, and yes. let's put their channel and their Instagram and um, do you have a Facebook, page. Facebook too? We have Facebook and we have Facebook YouTube. Yes. information in the description of this video and on the screen so then you can contact them directly if need be. Yeah, dogs can be, uh, they're just the greatest thing in the world, but they're also a challenge and you got to put work into them like anything else. And, and it's patience, you yeah. know. Yeah. And, and this is why I tell people I don't care if you've owned dogs all your life. I've been driving since I've been 16. Right. I can't fix my car. <laughs> I take it to a mechanic. So, you know, come see a professional if you need some You're help. You're exactly and, and right. We'll, we'll be, you know, we'd love to help you. And Paul has been great, and that's been great to us. I, I have to say, I was crying when Archie was a puppy. I'm like, what have I done, or what am I not doing right? And um, yeah, <laughs> oh, well, but he's the best thing that ever happened to us. And everyone knows, like, who would know that Archie's gonna have his own merch line, you know? <laughs> right. Like, people love Archie, they love that personality. But if you don't do it just right, there's gonna be a problem with people, with grandkids, with other dogs. And Paul's been just a miracle worker to us. So we, we really appreciate it. We have an Archie too, who's yeah. just like yours. <laughs> Same right. name, every yeah. chocolate lab. Yes. Oh, yeah, I see yes. that. Right, right. Yes, he is. Yeah, so I think nothing was better than the save the date for their wedding that you sent with <laughs> all your dogs. Um, how many are in that picture? There's 10 in that picture. Yeah. No, no, I'm sorry. They're, the puppies are not in that picture. It was right, right before we got the two, Bonnie and Clyde. So there's eight in that picture. And they yeah. sat so perfectly and Archie was in the middle, right? He was in the middle with Finn, yeah, because he's yeah. the oddball out, so. <laughs> oh, did you? And they're all going to be in the wedding, too. I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah, we might have to bring our wedding camera wedding. and maybe so. do some video of yeah, your wedding. No, you're right. Right. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. All right. Yeah. Thanks so much for coming and being here today. And anyone that has any questions or, like I said, maybe you could answer them yes, on absolutely. the comments. But then go ahead and check the links and visit their pages as well. All right. Annette, Paul, thanks Thank so much. Thank you very oh, much. Thank you for having us. Thank you.